Alright, g'day guys and welcome back to another Realmworks video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to use storyboards, um, which is basically a, a flowchart um, system that's available within Realmworks to help you manage your content. Alright, so let's jump over and have a look. Alright, so in front of me you can see I've got Realmworks open. Uh, I've got the Weeby Goblins uh, free module loaded. Uh, this is a uh, preview at it. Um, and basically we can see here, this is a great idea to see how Lone Wolf basically imagined that content should be structured within uh, Realmworks because this is something they've put together themselves. So, great way to have a look at how they think storyboards should be set up. So we'll click the storyboards button and we can see we've got a Weeby Goblin storyboard. Alright, if we click on that we can see basically they've gone and they've created a story flow and they've connected it to some content. Alright, now the benefit of having a storyboard is you can click this button up here and that t turns into your navigation pane and then from there you can actually click on options and you can have them come out. All right, and as you can see, that makes it very easy for you to follow this, the flow of the story at the table. If you're, um, if you're working on a fairly complex uh, story that's got lots of connections, you could basically come in here as part of your prep beforehand um, and use these here. So it's a really good idea. Um, now, my players and I have actually run this module, so what I'm going to do is go through and just make some modifications based on what occurred at our table. All right, and you can do this live. So, so let's say I'm at the table and I know for a fact that the meeting at the moot house did not go so well. So I'm going to create a new plot point and connect to it. Um, wildfire Sorcerer got excited. I was playing a Wildfire Goblin Sorcerer. Um, all the discussion about a big bonfire got me really excited. Uh, I had to roll on my random magic table uh, and I summoned two times hellhounds into the, the moon house. Um, everyone got bloody. That certainly happened. We did beat them somehow. I'm not really sure how. Now, the important thing to point out here is I've, I've done my right click and I've done create plot point. Now you notice how this plot point here is a different shape and a different color. Okay. What that is, is I've basically, instead of associated content, I've basically written the content in myself. Okay. If we have a look up here, if I edit this plot point, you can see this is basically linked to a topic. All right. So that's a really powerful set of functionality right there. Um, it obviously makes it very, very, um, very, very easy to see what you're actually connecting to. Now, how do these look when you actually run it? Uh, you can hold your mouse over these ones here where you've got something written and you can see it. These ones here, you hold your mouse over, you just see the title. Now, to show you further, what I could do is go edit plot point. All right, and see that uh, the difference there. So you can basically do whatever you like with these things. Um, uh, if you want to go to the effort of having your mouse overs um, put in with your GM directions, you can certainly do that. Um, you can see the difference between having a linked one and a non-linked one. And once we've got it basically linked, we can then basically go back. Um, we can just drag from one to the other to link them out. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Um, Let's say that, you know, my hide will get clubbed, someone got died. All right, and that one's over here. All right, because as you can see, that's really quite simple for you to connect things around. Um, someone got killed, could have uh, resulted in coming down somewhere else. All right, you can see that the whole thing just changes depending on how you click the flow. All right, now let's have a look at uh, some of the ways you can basically connect these things up. All right, there's a horizontal layout. Going horizontally. There's a vertical layout. Going vertically. Or the one we were looking at was the loop friendly. So far, I'm, I'm quite, a, quite a fan of the loop friendly. I kind of like the layout that uh, the loop friendly's got, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you've got some standard buttons here for zoom, uh, size to fit, 
there's all your zoom levels all right so there's some easy options there to make things easy um, you can obviously put your, your plot descriptions in here and your GM plot descriptions in there so there's nothing really difficult about that um, I have no idea what that does oh there you go so it must be using a C generator to randomize where everything is sitting and you can basically click that to make it uh, reseed if you want to have a different sort of layout. Um, and look, guys, look, that's that's really all there is to it. There's not much to these things. If you want to create a new storyboard, you just click on the plus sign. Uh, we'll save our changes. And create new plot points. Uh, we can create new plot points, connect to it. All right. Uh, yeah. Da, 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 da. We can create a new subplot. All right. And to see the difference there is uh, a subplot is basically connected. Uh, so if we go, this is my new plot point. All right, it's connected to a new subplot. So if I click that, I can actually go to a subplot underneath that plot. So that just allows you to connect one storyboard to another storyboard. Um, and obviously you can keep going down the rabbit hole as far as you want to go. I imagine that would be quite useful for some really, uh, really complex sort of situations. Um, we can go through and uh, we could even uh, associate content with it. I think we can do that with this. Oh, no, that's because this is associated content. Uh, we'll go back here, we'll click on here. But let's say I wanted to connect something up. We can go edit plot point again. This is the associated content. Click, see it changes shape. You know, we've got a connection to the meat of the mood house. All right, so it's it's simple functionality, guys. There's not much to it. Now, let's go back. There's one other thing I'd like to show you. Um, and over here, there's a different type of view that you're going to see. All right, so show in a link web view is a different option. And I've got to admit, I don't, I don't really like this option at this current stage. Um, and I'm pretty sure Lone Wolf are looking at changing it from what I read. Uh, the idea is great, though. So we have one central thing that we're connected to. Uh, you can see all of the connections that that thing is connected to. So from Weeby Goblin Storyboard, I know that the upper deck is connected to that. All right, I know that Volker's Cabin is connected to that. If I double click on Volker's Cabin, I can see what is connected to Volker's Cabin. So I can see the fireworks are connected. I can see Lord Longtongue would be expected to be found in there. If I want to double click on Volker, I can see Volker is connected all over the place. All right, let's go have a look at the Lictoid Village. Lictoid Village has the following people and the following places uh, connected to it. So as you can see, that's a really sort of easy way to uh, see relationships that are connected to things. Um, so that's the link web view. Um, I imagine that could be handy. I guess the biggest problem with it is that it's automatically generating how it looks, um, which means, you know, something that's got hundreds of connections this is going to be really quite hard to work with. Um, because it's just it's just not going to be great and I think if we look at the 20 links probably show it better um, to see everything we've got to zoom out and we can't really see everything there so um, yeah last time I heard the, the lone wolf guys talking on the forum they were discussing trying to make this view more useful and, and, and better laid out but there you go guys that's that storyboarding there's not much to it um, I hope that's useful for you um, if you've got any questions if you've got any comments please leave them below uh, if you're finding these videos useful please do subscribe um, and more importantly guys if there's videos you want to see please ask them all I'm more than happy to whip them out for you guys uh, I'll speak to you guys on the forums